Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Uh, this evening, I want to expand a little bit more about um, my thoughts on contraption Nigeria and, and the fact that we are under an apartheid regime. Um, and here's, I've got some proof and some things. There's some in interesting things that I want you to look at with me tonight. So uh, the, the, the theme tonight is that apartheid Nigeria. Um, let me just drop that down so you can see. Apartheid Nigeria. You can see that. So I just wanted you to, now we're going to do something. Just before I talk about this, I want to bring to your attention. In apartheid Af South Africa until today, initially, um, I mean, right now, well, back in the 80s, 70% of the land resources uh, of the land belonged to 8% of the population who were the whites. So the land upon which 80% of the people were living belonged to 8%. And the people who were living there, some of them, we owned the, the, the majority owned maybe something like 8%. That is a similar thing we have in contraption Nigeria. Because of the Fed, um, the 68, 68 exclusive items, all of our resources in the South is going to the center. And who is in the center? The Fulanese. And the Fulanese are a minority in our population. They are like 10 million. So there's a lot of similarity with what is happening. That's why I'm telling you we are in an apartheid. We definitely are. And I'm going to show you a video. I'll play you the video of the, how things were done in the 1980s. And I'll play you a video of how things were done now in 2021. And you will agree with me that this is we are under an apartheid system in contraption Nigeria. Southerners are being oppressed by the Fulanis. There's no doubt about that. Watch this. Churches were one of the only places where expressions of defiance were voiced. Outside, the police would wait to retaliate. See that? That's a familiar sight for us, isn't it? We live in a gone society. We have to be herded. And if you, into, if you know what, if, when you know something, the guns are always in the hands of the northerners. Very few southerners have those guns. There's northerners, and they are amongst us, the Fulanese. And this, the people in power, the whites, they had the guns, and they had the land. The people in power in Nigeria, they had the guns, they control the land. Can you see the similarity? Can you see the similarity? I hope you can see it. Now, so let's play on for a little bit more. Only a short time. It's just to get us to start thinking and understanding why we have to go for self-determination. <laughs> I'm going to hold it there. That is in South Africa in the 1970s and 1980s. And let's look at Nigeria in 2021. 12 to June 12, yeah, in Abuja and Lagos. Watch this. Democracy Day on June 12. The police on Saturday shot tear gas to disperse protesters in the Gudu area of Abuja and Ojota area of Lagos. Somewhere also. Can you see that? Let me go back again. Can you see the similarity? Tear gas, tear gas. Tear gas and tear gas. And guns, of course. Can you see the similarity? Do you get it now that we are under apartheid? The people who own the gun, who have the guns, control the resources. Who are the people who have the guns? The Fulanese. They control our resources. The people who own the guns in South Africa were the whites. They also control the resources via the gun. And the Fulanese don't come from our parts. They are not indigenous to Nigeria. They come from Futa Jalon. These are facts. Let me just remind you 
those of you who may be having some doubt about where they, where they come from and all that, let's just make it very clear. We just need to be very, very clear about what we do, what's going on. Right, here we go. So that is footage Allen right there. Yeah? So I just want to just make sure that we're very clear what is going on. When you get this video, please do share. It's not about, some people have been hearing some talk about, oh, people talking about hate and all of this stuff. But I'm just showing you the similarities between the two. You have tear gas in the 70s and 80s in South Africa, and we got tear gas in, 17, in, in 2021, when people are speaking up for their rights. And the people who are in control are the Fulanese. And they are, this, they are the minority, 11 million, something like that. Same thing with South Africa. The people who are controlling who are in the minority, are still in the minority. That's what I'm saying. This is an apartheid. There is, however you want to look at it, I'm sure you will agree with me. It's apartheid, apartheid Nigeria. That's where we are. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment. Share it. Uh, let's hear from you. Um, thank you for watching. You're watching Citizen AY. Um, before we do go, we'd love you to please uh, subscribe to us on Citizen AY. Go ahead and do so now. Subscribe to Citizen AY on YouTube. Please hit the notification button. Subscribe, hit the notification button and give us the thumbs up. That way, more and more people can see us. As we, when we go every time we go on live because we're sharing important information like this and the one about the land is very very important um, at one point South Africa they, they, the whites had control of over 95 percent of the land and the people were able to only stay in only the the, 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 the Africans who owned the land were only able to stay in eight percent of that land now they've moved that somewhat now to maybe 15 to 20 percent something like that, 15 or maybe, come, yeah, coming up to 15%. In our case, the resources in our land is being hoovered up by exclusive item, 68 exclusive items. We can't access resources without, because everything is taken to the center. Who's in the center? The full land is. We need to wake up. It's time for us to go for self-determination. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Citizen Anyway, the platform where we speak truth to power. We only deal in one currency, Truth. We are the Sorosuke generation with evidence. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments. If this resonates with you, please share, share, and share. And leave comments. Thank you and goodbye.